Gregory Michael, I'm the writer and director of the Indiegogo campaign funding for the film The Baby Games. Thank you so much guys for stopping in and taking a look at our profile. I know that there are a lot of, there are thousands of other projects on the site that you could be spending five or ten minutes glossing over, but if you're on our page it's probably because we're connected through either social media or you're um, perhaps in an acting or uh, theater colleague or film or TV or some other. So again, I appreciate you spending the time. Uh, times are valuable, so I won't waste yours. I'll get right to it. If you don't know me, however, let me give you just a brief recap of who I am and how the project came about. Um, I did my undergrad in Alabama in, um, a while ago, let's just say. And I did my undergrad in Alabama in theater, of course, in acting, and I've had a focus on classical studies. For some reason, it was right about that time that I discovered uh, classical text, particularly Shakespeare. So most of my focus in the three years that I was there was on Shakespeare, and I got accepted to, uh, I'd applied to a number of colleges, Yale, DePaul, all the all the classics, you know, Indiana University, believe it or not. Um, but I thought I'd had enough of the South, I need to change. So. I had a choice. A friend of mine said, well, you can go to California and focus on the on-camera on work, or you can go to New York and focus on stage, since you're classical Shakespeare. And by the time I was ready to make the decision, it was sort of made for me. I'd been accepted to the National Shakespeare Conservatory, which was an off, a spinoff of Stella Adler. Um, it was funny because while we were rehearsing during the day, I'd be hearing and watching Rita Moreno and Patrick Stewart. and. Uh, is, uh, just a number of people rehearsing it in the elevator is great. It was first for the first time in New York. It was it was really awesome. Uh, the cultural shock was also awesome because I'm a southern boy from Florida and Georgia, coming to the big city. Even though I've been in Alabama for a few years, it's still not New York. It's not Manhattan. So that cultural shock, it was it was weird. And you know the saying, "Don't stare." Well, you can't help but stare if you see someone with a full body tattoo from head to toe. Sorry, just do. Um, so, but uh, I've, I've worked in a number of places. I've studied at the Actors Studio Drama School for the MFA. I spent a year there and then realized it wasn't a place that I needed to be in that time in my life, and, and it was a good choice. Uh, I was working before I went into the program, and I've continued to do so. Um, and I'm very happy with that, the way that I, the time that I had there it was like a master class, and I actually got to do my thesis. Um, one of the cohorts from an earlier year had come to do a play that he written called Lord Byron's Lover, and I, I got to uh, do the stage that, that you would do as a main stage thesis project, and I was very happy, and the audience was very happy, and um, so uh, everybody was happy, and it was, I loved inside the actor's studio. James Lipton also was there at the thesis project, and I got to see much of him throughout my first year at the actor studio. It was great to see Tom Cruise and Kate Blanchett and hear them talk. I think one of my best um, experiences in listening to those programs with, was um, it was Russell Crowe, actually. He was the most down-to-earth actor I'd met. He sat down on the foot of the stage, and he really made it about the students and giving us, not just about himself. Um, so that was really, really one of the best experiences I think I have coming from um, the Actors Studio Drama School. In addition to my master, my master instructor, uh, Barbara Poitier, she was, she was related to Sydney. Um, she passed away since then, unfortunately, but she was, she was a, a Stella Adler type, deeply engrossed, and she found ways to make, to pull out the individual things in you, she, like for example, with me, uh, working with Michael Chekhov to get out of my head it was one of the things that I helped. So um, I won't go on at length, but just to give you an idea of my background and that I do have a lot of background. I'm not a new director. Um, I've been directing stage and scenes and I've read, directed my own television show, a half hour comedy that premiered on Amazon Video On Demand two years ago called Bobby Story the Vine. Um, since then, I've recently uploaded some trailers and I'm going to be doing some of the Amazon giveaways that they have. Uh, over the next week, I'm going to be um, doing some of those. So if you see those giveaway things pop up and you see Bobby Story, The Vine, uh, and it's my DVD, hey, go for it because I'd love for you to win. I'm going to give away about 10 of them, I think, and as well as my poetry CD, um, uh, The Undiscovered Country, a compilation of life that I wrote and dedicated to my mom. Um, I'm giving away that because I'm also going to be re releasing the, the printed edition, uh, getting ready to release that on Kindle and um, audio and audibles as well. So. I'll be giving away probably 10 or 20 of those as well. So do check it out. Do uh, join my social media feed and my Amazon authors page. Just by going to Amazon, typing in my name, you'll see my TV shows, my books, and everything else come up. Um, now, about this film. Uh, it started when I was working on the set of SNL, I think. I was out at 30 Rockefeller Plaza. And I'm not name dropping. I just I went back to see because I was asking myself, how did I even come up with this thing? And I remember I was there. And then I, later that night, I'd gone home and I ran into an, uh, someone on the elevator and he said, hey, would you be interested in directing this project? He goes, you're a director, right? I was like, well, yes, in addition to other things. And he said, well, there's this Coca-Cola film festival coming up. He said, would you, would you direct a project for me? And I said, well, sure, what's the script about? He said, well, I don't have one. Okay, um, <laughs> uh, who do you have in mind for the cast? I don't have one. So you want me to write a script within 24 hours, cast it, direct it, and produce it. And how much am I being paid? Deer in the headlights again. So I said, 
here's my card. Give me a call on Monday. I'll think about it. I actually said this, I'm, and I'm kicking myself as I get on the elevator going, why did you just partially, possibly commit to something that you're going to kill yourself doing? So anyway, the guy had never followed up as those type of mindsets seldom do because maybe he's schizophrenic. I don't know, bipolar. But he never followed up. But I took the idea and I ran with it. And I said, you know, I'm not going to put myself under that much pressure, but I'm working on a show for CBS right now, and I'm around these actors every day. Why not write something since I've been working with these guys for a full season and we're in the second season going, we knew it was coming back. Um, I said, well, why not write something that we can all work together on? It'd be so cool. So I talked to a few of the actors and I said, hey, if I wrote this short film, would you be interested in participating? You're like, yeah, absolutely. And I was like, cool. Because I already knew their talent because I've seen them working. Um, so, so that's how it came about. Now, unfortunately, not all of them will be able to come on board. Um, but um, one of them is still a possibility, and I do. I've just cast a female lead, Cassandra. You may remember seeing uh, the film, The Baby Games, come across uh, Actors Access, the breakdown services last year, because that's where I initially released it. And I, I usually release things on our social media pages, Facebook, Twitter, and stuff like that, first to to my fan base before I put them on the open uh, casting networks, uh, casting files, and so forth. So if you're a fan, you always get a, a day or two, or maybe even a week's notice before it goes to the breakdown services. So if nothing else, that should encourage you all to join social media. My Facebook page, Gregory Michael, is full. It's maxed out at 5K again. But I have a backup page, Acclaimed Theatricals, my company's page, which is simply using my nickname, Mickleman, M-I-K-E-L-L-M-A-N. Just go to that page, send me a friend. I think it's about up to 3,000 or so friends on that right now. So if you send me a friend request, I'll do my best over the next two weeks to get to it, but please be patient because I have several pages and we have several projects um, that are in pre different phases of production, pre-production, in production, etc. Um, so please be patient. We were supposed to shoot something this past weekend actually that fell through and then somebody else just asked me for a quote to possibly shoot something in the next two days. So I'm also looking to hire a crew and it's, so if you are a crew and you are a camera crew and you're uh, willing to work in the New York tri-state area by the way, um, go and join my company page, Acclaim Theatricals. Just Google it, it'll come up. I'm also on Yelp. We're also on Yelp. And the company page is being redesigned, but you can send us your info through that. You can send us a link to your demos because I'm hiring cinematographers, gaffers, grips. Uh, anyone with their own equipment is particularly of interest. And if you have a team that you can bring with you that you work together and you can show me a portfolio of your work, excellent. Because we got a lot of work coming our way between now and December, the end of the year. Um, so as you can see, guys, it's a great time to get to know our company because we are looking to hire and we are paying and we are paying and offering good things like meals and transportation, direct deposit, all those good things. And we're paying scale or above for the, the low cost stuff. I can't pay Yahtzee rates, union rates, but I can give you a good deal. Um, and if, if you want to work while your show is on hiatus, then, hey, I might have some gigs for you because I'm getting some reach out from corporate, um, corporate companies as well who need events done between now and the holidays, as you know, last minute. But I claim theatricals has been around 13 years. So the baby games started out with five characters. Yes, I know I'm all over the place. I apologize. I haven't, I've been up editing for 24 hours. So there you go. And I'm just going to Starbucks in a minute and no plug on that. But that's my second home. I should buy stock in the company actually thinking about it. But <laughs> I digress. So first of all, I'd like to give a big shout out and congratulations to Tammy Clayton for the role of Cassandra Cassie. Yes, that's right. And if you look on IMDb, you're already there, sister girl. You earned it. You did a great job. You did everything that I asked you to do and then some. And I'll tell you another reason. It's not just because of your talent, because I've known you for, I don't know, 15, 20 years. And we actually did our first theater tour and Broadway show together. That's right, at Town Hall. We did a, a, a great play about Thurgood Marshall. Um, it was called um, the uh, Brown versus the Board of Education. And she played my daughter. Go figure, right? So Tammy, congratulations. You earned it, sister girl. And I'm really looking forward to directing you and working with you because I know you have a lot to offer. So a big shout out to Tammy. If you see her, it'd be great if you let her know before I before she knows from me. Uh, but tell her to go to her IMDb page and look up the baby games. She's got the top female billing. Yes, she does. And it makes me happy to do that. It makes me happy when I can put uh, someone that I know who's earned it onto a SAG contract. And uh, she's going to be working a lot and she's going to be showing some really great skills and getting some really good um, good, good attention from the festival circuit. And um, there's still 10 more roles to cast. Um, I will be reaching out as I have been to some. some I'm going to be also uh, releasing some of the um, roles from my previous show, uh, Bobby Story, that I'm shooting 
the full uh, the pilot that was on Amazon. We recently they changed the the format of Amazon recently, moved some of the media content over to a, their brand new studio to their studio channel from the old for platform that we had to use. So it's actually a little better and more integrated. Now we're out actually able to upload our own trailers without sending them straight to Amazon. So actually now there are some trailers on Bobby's Story the Vine. If you go there, because I'm going to be casting and releasing a breakdown service for that in February. I'm casting. I'm recasting the pilot. I'm only keeping two principal characters characters from the original pilot. I'm recasting nine additional roles. Um, so look for that and subscribe to those channels. But back to this film, and I keep getting. <laughs> I need an assistant. I tried to hide one. It didn't hire one. It didn't work out recently. But if you know anyone who's interested in, in a virtual uh, admin position to manage calendars and who's good with database management, send it my way because I'm looking to hire, paying weekly like a temp agency. Yes, you can e-commute. Um, this film was five characters. It's now eleven. I'm talking about the baby games, yes, and I will be doing a feature film version after this goes to festival market. Um, I've had some studios already reach out to me about some of the Shakespeare stuff, so that's going to be going off. Oh, by the way, if you go to GregoryMichael.com, however, and you are a friend on there, and you look on my um, creative pages, you will see we, I'm shooting a new pilot next summer. I know. I, I must be bipolar myself. I can't stop writing, but there you go. It's called uh, Bank on This America. And it's, um, I'm actually looking to hire staff writers for this one. So, and I like to use LinkedIn because that's where most of the uh, off-camera creatives are. So if you are not on LinkedIn, I suggest you get on there and you friend my company page, not me, please. I'm trying to keep those sort of isolated. Friend my company page and send me a friend request and write me a message and say that you are a writer, you have a portfolio, you would like to send me some stuff. And of course, send me an NDA before you send me any treatments of anything that you've written, because I'm not going to take it and look at it until you have sent me an NDA, because I require everyone who works for my company or who wants to, to do the same. So, um, also uh, about this project, um, we just I just, within 24 hours, released this campaign. Um, and it will be, will be, most likely I'll set it up on Amazon, the short. Um, but I'll be pitching to Netflix and Hulu as well. Um, so if you have any contacts at Netflix or Hulu, and you, if you are an editor also, I'm looking for editors, especially for Bobby, Bobby's story, because I'm writing, I'm directing, and I'm starring in all 13 episodes. So if you know of an editor, and I'm putting together a full production team for that as well. So guys, what I'm saying is, in essence, yes, we're gearing up and we're getting ready to kick some butt. So um, do like us, do friend us, and please, 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 pretty please share this among your social media network, Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, for every show that I do, every movie that I do, we, each one has its own social media package, and it would help a lot if you guys would share that. Uh, I really appreciate it. Sorry for the camera movement. Boom. Um, so that's it. So thanks again. Thanks for your time. Thanks for your patronage. Thanks for considering uh, donating. I'll be expanding the perks. Just bear with me. As you see, I have a lot of projects going on and a little help to do it. But uh, if you're uh, a copywriter, uh, someone like that with production skills looking for sideline freelance work, uh, do, do contact me on LinkedIn because that's what I'm using to hire all staff and probably all crew is LinkedIn because I like to go and see your profile. And if you're not on there, then you should be. It's one of the, they're very good at vetting people and sort of controlling it. Unlike IMDB, who will give out your information to anyone for advertising. Uh, LinkedIn is a, bit, a little better since Microsoft bought it out. So, um, so again, friend us, uh, join our YouTube channel, join Facebook, Twitter, everything. Uh, my personal page again, Gregory Michael is maxed out, but you can see some of the other shows that I have going on and some of the other companies that we're affiliates with, such as Farm Bear Records Publishing. We just um, started partnering with a new film company called Media House. They're going to be doing some editing for us and some other stuff. So Farm Boy does all the audio and audio editing and Media House will be doing all the DVD duplication production. They'll help with marketing. And of course, my publicist, Mary Kelly Lathan, uh, she's great. You can email her. Uh, she will be doing some press for us as she has been for the last two years. Uh, so everybody's going to be busy. So I'm looking to hire and staff up and I'm looking to friend up and follow up. So you guys like my author's page on Amazon. And please, 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 now that I got trailers up, write some reviews for us because that's going to help us when I'm pitching to Netflix and Amazon to let them know that we do have an audience. We have over 250,000 social media followers across our platform from Twitter to Facebook and everything else. We just need you guys to engage a little more. Much appreciated. This is the Michael and I'm out. Boom.